The only double amputee PGA professional in the nation works here at Green Meadow Country Club and he sat down with MTN to tell us a little about the new nonprofit he's starting to help embrace disabilities one swing at a time. Mr. Cutter is starting a nonprofit golf academy for all people with disabilities, whether you're a vet with PTSD or someone born with a disability. This nonprofit will be here to introduce you to the game of golf. Yeah. And so the Pacific Northwest section puts on an event every year called 100 Holes of Golf. And it's to raise money for local charities. And basically we play 100 holes of golf in one day. We did it two years ago, and it's pretty brutal. <laughs> And he told us how important the city of Helena is to him and how he can continue to serve his community. And help this community. Um, since I've moved here uh, just over four years ago, this community has done so much for me, and I just kind of want to give back to this community. Born with amniotic band syndrome, Ryan had both legs amputated at birth and got into golf at a very young age thanks to both of his parents. So I'm very thankful for that. I kind of cling towards golf because I can compete with other kids. I didn't involve as much running <laughs> as, as most sports do. Out of the roughly 29,000 PGA professionals who are ready to help you further your love of the game of golf, Ryan is the only double amputee. I have lived with this disability my whole life, so I don't know any different. And I've met a bunch of other people that have had their legs and then lost them, so it's not as severe as that. So it allows me to just kind of be myself. Cutter went the PGM route, receiving his degree in accounting and a PGA membership at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. And I thought to myself, what do I really want to do with my life? Like, what makes me happy? And I just kept going back to golf. Golf was always the number one thing that, that made me the person that I am today. One of Ryan's biggest visions for the new nonprofit is to bring the community together by bringing awareness to the entire community of Helena. Um, and so I just want to take my position and my stance and just spread awareness. Um, and that's another big part of my nonprofit that I'll be starting is spreading awareness about disability. I asked Ryan what his goals are for the new local nonprofit. But the biggest thing that I could do for the surrounding area is allow families with children maybe that have disabilities or individuals that are, you know, living on their own with disabilities. It will alleviate some of their medical expenses will be one of them and then time constraints. He's recently set up a GoFundMe for the fundraiser called All Abilities Golf Academy 100 Holes of Golf. So this year for my foundation just starting up, I thought $5,000 would be a, a good goal. Um, it is going to be very tough for me to play the 100 holes in one day, especially with no legs. Come on down to the Green Meadow Country Club to see Ryan Cutter as he begins his journey of bettering communities across the nation. I say back in the good old days, but um, you know that's that's my main goal is is just to get the community to see what, what good is happening in the world as opposed to what bad is happening in the world. I think that's that's a really big part of of why I'm doing this. In Helena, Hayes Bartrip, MTN Sports.